All right, guys, welcome back to Oshkosh uh, 2023. We are right now on the South 40, and uh, this is an area I did not get to visit earlier uh, at the beginning of the show. But already you can tell that a lot of uh, aircraft have already left and uh, today there was a mishap somewhere here and uh, it was uh, an incident between a helicopter and a, an auto gyro so I'm not really sure what the outcome is but I think the, he the, pilot, helicopter, the helicopter pilot is good uh, I don't know about the other people involved in this mishap so right here we have what seems to be like uh, this is from Canada and uh, let's take a look here at the engine Edge Ep Apex 300 Ti that's that's an un unusual engine you can see it has a four bladed prop and then at the front of the engine you can see the uh, propeller speed reduction unit which is a gearbox uh, this looks like a, it's a carbon cup got the oil cooler right there they got the leading edge I think they call them slats and on this one they seem to be automatic so this would be a great platform for um, short takeoff and landing that looks to be uh, an automobile engine or a motorcycle engine actually is that the Kawasaki engine but that's a motorcycle engine for sure uh, some of those engines are very lightweight and they would put out easily upwards of 150 horsepower especially if they're coupled to a turbo like you can see the turbo right there um, so yeah i'm not really sure what aircraft this is but it it seems to be a very great performance it's got some bush wheels And here you have something similar. Also, this one has, uh, it's, you know, uh, kitted out for hunting. And this one has what seems to be an N number. So this is probably based here in uh, the United States. It's got some Alaska bush wheels. Lots of people taking off. And I guess, uh, presume they're living. So they might go two, three hours when it's dark, most people will just land and uh, take a break. Here we have what seems to be a Cessna. It's an older Cessna, you can tell from the tail. I don't know if it's a 182, 175, I'm not sure. your angle of attack nice aircraft and over there you have another one uh, I don't think that's a Cessna that looks more like a uh, Piper okay let us continue uh, it's amazing this place was full two days ago and now everybody is gone. Wish I had come here earlier when the place was full of different types of aircraft. Oh, here you have, uh, I don't know if this is the Goose or the Catalina. And this one has turbine engines. Guys, check out this difference. There you can see the turbine engines they shifted all the way forward because they are very light to maintain the same center of gravity they burn a lot so you have the tip wing tip tanks and there you have the classic uh, general aviation gas engine half gas engine piston engine so this should have a lot of power it's very nicely restored the paint job is great brand new tires LED lighting for the landing light. And 
right there on top it looks like like an anchor spot yep it's a groman goose actually converted in 1970 this one is based on the uh, west coast 680 horsepower each for those engines yeah this is uh what's the cruise 200 miles per hour that's fast Yeah, you got the floats to stabilize it. Small anchor point. Beautiful. And here we have this is huge. It's a 1939. No, that's not it. <laughs> this is something else. Big radial engine. It's for sale in case you're interested. The glass looks clean. It's got the observation glass on this side. Very big, spacious looking cabin. Big exhaust. Got the wheels, you got the steps to get into the cockpit. And it's got a huge body back here. I'm sure lots of storage. Tail number 144, Whiskey Bravo. Are departures and over here is that an aero commander across the street somewhere there you have uh, a couple of rotaway execs and the rotaways of course they're they're helicopters DC3 Aero Commander That's what this is Great aircraft. And here we have a very beautiful example of the DC. Huge radial engine. Huge wing. Look at the cord. Very wide. It goes all the way to the back. Uh, you can see tons of rivets i can't imagine building something like this brand new today how much it will it will cost you got the landing gear massive tire with one two three four piston brake huge pistons and you can see the polished aluminum uh propeller and also it's got the icing Underneath you have the radio antennas and this is all old school. Uh, you have more modern radios now and I think some of the antennas you find here are uh, for direction. I think that like the one on top of the cabin and those are obsolete because they turned off the radios. So you can see what it looks like. Tons of rivet again on the body. 
Um, not much information on this one. I don't know where it's based out of. Let's go around. Yeah, the thing is huge. Huge. In fact, this looks like it was an airliner before in a previous life. And here you have the ghost lock, which has been applied. And that stops the control surfaces from moving. Oh, look at this. It's got the fabric cover, the control surfaces. I didn't know that. That's interesting. And this would be where uh, the passengers would go in. Yeah, if I had one of these, I think I would convert it to, to a turbine. More reliable, faster, and cleaner. I can't imagine what it takes to do the annual on this thing. But if properly maintained and you fly it regularly, these things are surprisingly, some of these older aircraft, they will just keep going. Here you have another Groman. You have the anchor points, big radial engine, float, which possibly, I don't know, probably it's also used as a, uh, as a fuel tank, possibly. And then on the float, you can see the mirror. So the pilot when flying, if he has to land on, on land, he will look at the mirror right here to ensure that the landing gear is out. So he will just glance out through the window look at the mirror to see the gear verify everything is down and then here you have the de-icing boot that black stuff on the leading edge very clean you can see where the wheel folds in extremely clean so somebody is taking good care of this bird beautiful bird Oh, these are ultra lights right here that looks like a rance i guess most of them have left Yeah, it looks like a lot of people have left. Something huge just landed. Let's see if we can zoom. Oh, it's taking off. Nice wing rock. Here we have a bunch of Cessnas, but this is a Cessna up front. Next to it, it's a Bonanza from Beechcraft. And next to it, yeah, I forgot the name of that aircraft. <laughs> And then next to that, that's a Cherokee from Piper. That's a beautiful color, very bright. Okay, let's continue. And all over here, you have camp spots. That's a 172 about to depart
Comanche, not the Piper Comanche. Somebody help me out in the comment section. <laughs> Guys, let's head out to the ultralight. I think they're packed here in the back. The projects are continuing. Oh, that's the spirit of St. Louis aircraft. This guy is much faster. Looks like a 182. It's catching up to him. That looks like an RV. Still not painted yet. I think we saw that the other day. Okay, let's run here to the ultralight. It's a couple of interesting things. Yeah, lots of departures. looks like the heli cycle or is it a mos mosquito wow let's check this out here what is this powered by rotax led landing lights fully integrated purpose built this thing looks clean, powered by 912 IS from Rotax. If you guys can see from because of the reflection, it's very clean. It has a very clean cockpit. Nice design, as you guys can see. It's composite, so you don't see any um, rivet. Also, it has a BRS. So they encourage you to stay clear for, clear of that. Really, really nice design. See if we can catch some of this before they finish packing up. And we'll do a cut right here.